In late 2024 or early 2025, there are concerns about potential economic challenges. These concerns stem from the possibility of rising 10-year U.S. Treasury yields and an escalation in an ongoing war. These two factors combined could lead to a severe economic downturn similar to the 1929 crash. Simon Hunt, a well-traveled British economist based in Dubai, has a unique global perspective and warns of troubling signs. If his predictions come true, it could impact the strong bull market of the past decade, akin to how the 1929 crash affected the Roaring Twenties. Let's delve into Simon Hunt's forecast and evaluate their likelihood. Simon Hunt predicts an economic depression in 2025, and it all starts with an ongoing war. This isn't just Russia and Ukraine. Other major countries are involved. The war matters for financial markets and the economy because it affects the Federal Reserve or the Fed, which guides economic policies. Currently, the Fed is reducing money supply through quantitative tightening. Hunt believes this policy will change due to the war and foresees potential financial issues like bank failures or a stock market crash. In essence, Hunt's view is that the war, along with potential financial accidents, will prompt central banks like the Fed to rethink their strategies, which could have significant implications for the economy and the markets. He believes that this will give the Federal Reserve a reason to change its course and return to quantitative easing, which essentially means putting more money into the financial system instead of taking it out. This shift is expected to happen by the end of this year. Furthermore, Simon Hunt predicts that after a shortened correction in the financial markets, stocks will once again rise until 2025. When the Fed switches to quantitative easing, the surplus cash will flow into the market, boosting its performance. He also mentions that stocks and commodities reaching new highs during this time, likely because of the increased availability of funds, right? However, in a nutshell, he anticipates that the S&P 500 index will double in volume. But after stocks have climbed to around 6 by 2025, he foresees a depression that not only impacts the economy but also crashes the entire stock market. When this depression hits, do you think that the markets will plummet due to this crash? Hunt suggests that the recovery over the following two years should be used to safeguard your financial stability during the depression. So that's the overall trajectory of what he's forecasting for the stock market. An initial decline as the economy heads into a recession, followed by a surge to 6,000 when the Fed implements QE, and then a significant downturn when the economy enters the next Great Depression. If Simon Hunt's market predictions do not turn out to be accurate, one logical approach might be to buy into the market as it rises until 2025 and then sell when the depression occurs. However, it is important to remember that this is a big if. Warren Buffett, a renowned investor, typically avoids trying to predict market movements because of the multitude of unpredictable factors involved. Instead, he prefers to invest for the long term. But, assuming Hunt's predictions prove correct and the S&P 500 indeed climbs to 6,000, it might make sense to consider investing in high growth and innovative stocks during the uptrend. Nevertheless, it is crucial to be aware that timing the market is a risky endeavor. Each investor should carefully choose their strategy based on their risk tolerance and investment goals. Hunt also offers a prediction regarding the US dollar. He believes that, in the short term, the dollar will experience fluctuations but over the long term, it will steadily lose volume. This devaluation occurs because more money is printed each year. He points out that a dollar from 1980 is now worth only 25 cents. Investors may seek out currencies that don't devalue to preserve their volume. He suggests that the recent rise in inflation, which began in 2020, is just the beginning. He anticipates a more significant wave of inflation that could surpass the levels we're experiencing currently. In essence, Hunt is warning that the markets and the economy may face significant challenges in the the coming years, but it is important for individuals to have their own well-thought-out investment strategies in place, considering their own financial goals and risk tolerance. In fact, we'd need to go back about 40 years to find inflation levels as high as what he's predicting. By 2025, he believes that the U.S. Consumer Price Index or CPI could surpass the peak seen in 1980, reaching around 13.5%. This level is akin to what we witnessed in the 1970s and early 1980s. He likens this to a two-way pattern, with the initial phase followed by a more destructive one. In today's rapidly changing world, we can't afford to wait for these events to unfold over four or five years. According to Hunt, this could lead to U.S. Treasuries experiencing significant upheaval around mid-2024, with yields potentially soaring to approximately 11%. This, in turn, 
could trigger significant disruptions in the financial markets. Added to these concerns, Hunt believes that the ongoing war will continue to intensify. When coupled with high treasury yields and market turbulence, it has the potential to usher in what he calls the next Great Depression. What may come next is a global financial system collapse, reminiscent of the steep asset price declines observed during the 1929-1932 period. Consequently, he anticipates a decline in the prices of commodities like copper and metals. Taking this a step further, Hunt envisions a world where multinational agreements play a central role and where growth is driven by equity rather than debt. Simon Hunt also factors in the Gleisberg cycle in his predictions, which is expected to impact around 2025. The last time this cycle occurred was in 1936, a period known as the Dust Bowl decade. A meteorologist of follow known for accurate forecast points to the possibility of the Gleisberg cycle hitting around 2024 to 2025. The last time this cycle coincided with the 1930s Dust Bowl, it had significant consequences. While I'm not a meteorologist and can't assess the likelihood of this occurring, the concern is that the Gleisberg cycle typically affects the U.S. Midwest. This region is a major producer of agricultural goods and this aligns with Hans' prediction of a surge in food prices over the next few years. He believes that food in Inflation will experience a significant resurgence, partly due to drought in Europe and notably a 90-year drought cycle in the U.S. Midwest expected in 2024. If Hans' predictions align with the Gleisberg cycle and the U.S. Midwest experiences drought, it could indeed have significant implications for food production and prices. However, as with any predictions involving complex factors like meteorological cycles, it's important to approach them with caution and rely on expert analysis. Simon Hans' predictions for 2025 paint a rather settling picture that draws parallels with the era of a Great Depression. His forecast includes the possibility of inflation levels surpassing the peak observed in 1980, a surge in treasury yields, escalating food prices, fluctuations in the stock market, and the ominous potential for major market crash coinciding with a severe economic depression. It's crucial to recognize that this outlook is undeniably extreme and built upon several underlying assumptions. This forecast prompts a series of pressing questions that naturally comes to mind. Will the Federal Reserve genuinely alter its monetary policy as Hahn suggests? Can inflation truly reach staggering heights? And will the Gleisberg cycle as forecasted for 2025 actually materialize? These questions are of paramount importance, for the accuracy of Hahn's overall prediction hinges upon the validity of these assumptions. Any deviation from these assumptions could significantly impact the reliability of his forecast. Simon Hahn's unique perspective from Dubai and extensive experience in major trading nations shape his insight on global events, including geopolitics and international trade. These insights underpin his predictions. While Hans forecasts are interesting, they shouldn't be the sole basis for financial decisions. Wise investors create well-thought-out investment strategies that consider various variables and scenarios. In uncertain times, carefully crafted strategy becomes a guiding light, ensuring a resilient approach in the ever-changing financial world.